Adaptive Camouflage Have you ever wondered if it's possible to make an object disappear into its surroundings, like a chameleon blending into its environment? Well, with the advent of adaptive camouflage, that science fiction dream is becoming a reality. But how exactly does it work? What are the materials used? And where is this technology being deployed? Adaptive or Invisibility Cloak the Active Camouflage technology developed by BEA Systems AB is a game-changing innovation for military vehicles seeking protection from detection by far-infrared night vision devices. It offers unprecedented infrared stealth capabilities and utilizes an array of hexagonal Peltier plates that can be rapidly heated and cooled to create any desired image, blending into the natural background or appearing as a non-target object. It allows vehicles to instantly blend into the background, reducing detection range to less than 500 meters. Designed to develop stealth ground vehicles, Adaptive represents a significant breakthrough in the field of advanced camouflage technology. The new technology is set to be unveiled at the DSEI Defense and Security Expo in London. Tech behind it. In 2011, BEA Systems made waves in the military technology world with their groundbreaking adaptive infrared camouflage system, which they likened to a thermal TV screen. The system uses approximately 1,000 hexagonal panels to cover armored vehicles, such as tanks or personnel carriers. Infrared cameras constantly collect thermal images of the vehicle's surroundings, and the panels are rapidly heated and cooled to match the temperature of either the background, such as a forest, or one of the objects in the system's library like a car, truck, or large rock. The system can even capture and display thermal images while the vehicle is in motion, providing near-total thermal invisibility to heat detection night vision devices. Design. BEA Systems Adaptive Technology provides two types of camouflage, Crypsis and Mimesis. For Crypsis, the system can display an infrared image of the vehicle's surroundings, which is updated as the vehicle moves while for Mimesis, an image of the chosen object, such as a car, can be retrieved from adaptive library and superimposed on the background. The result is an array of about 1,000 hexagonal panels covering the sides of an armored vehicle, which can cloak it from detection by heat-detecting night vision devices. According to BAE Systems, adaptive can reduce the range at which a vehicle would be detected to less than 500 meters. The hexagonal panels that make up Adaptive's pixels measure approximately 5.5 inches 14 centimeters wide and are designed to be durable, providing additional armor to the vehicle they are mounted on. The system also allows operators to grab a thermal image from a vehicle or other object and display it using Adaptive panels. Initially developed by BAE Systems AB Survivability Program in Ornskoldsvik, Sweden, Adaptive was created for use in Combat Vehicle 90 infantry fighting vehicles. Since then, a lighter version has been developed and tested on helicopters, and larger panels could potentially be used for ships. In 2010, the Israeli company Eltix prototyped a somewhat similar system at an early stage. Development Adaptive can also mimic natural objects and other vehicles, and offer cooperative interrogator friend foe IFF capability by displaying distinctive patterns visibly only at certain spectral ranges or in response to an interrogation signal, such as illumination by coded laser designation. The adaptive system from BAE Systems employs lightweight, hexagonal metallic pixels that can quickly change the temperature to create a thermal pattern that blends with its surroundings. Each pixel is powered by electricity and can be individually heated or cooled using readily available semiconducting technology. An onboard computer receives input from cameras that capture the background scenery, allowing even a moving vehicle to match its surroundings. The system can also mimic other vehicles or display identification tags to reduce the risk of fratricide. Challenges faced. Previous attempts at similar cloaking devices have faced challenges such as high cost, excessive power consumption, and lack of durability. However, Adaptive overcomes these obstacles with panels that can provide useful armor protection while consuming relatively low levels of electricity, particularly in stealth reconnaissance mode, 
when generator output is reduced. According to project manager Petr Joland, our panels can be made so strong that they provide useful armor protection and consume relatively low levels of electricity. BAE Systems conducted trials in mid-July that demonstrated how one side of a CV-90 could become effectively invisible or appear as other objects, including a 4x4 vehicle when viewed through the infrared spectrum. BAE Systems is also working on an adaptive camouflage program that uses electronic ink to paint the background image on a vehicle surface. The current focus is mainly on the infrared spectrum. The engineers at BAE Systems have combined the pixels with other technologies to provide all-around stealth in other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum, which will be developed further over the next few years. Recent advancements in combat vehicle protection technologies have gone beyond traditional ballistics and blast protection. These advancements include hit avoidance through the use of countermeasures, active protection, and signature management. Advanced camouflage is a crucial part of signature management, as it can hide vehicles from visible observation and imaging systems, such as thermal imagers that are core to most modern automated engagement systems, including target acquisition and missile seekers. Comparable weapons. Israel is also developing a similar system called Invisible Reactive Armor Protection, IRAP, which utilizes the Black Fox Thermal Camouflage System from Eltix and IMI Hybrid Armor Technology. The U.S. has also pursued similar capabilities for future spirals of the manned group vehicle through the DARPA and the U.S. Army Research and Development Center. These efforts were part of the now terminated Future Combat System. Camouflage and War Camouflage has been an integral part of warfare since prehistoric times. In ancient times, warriors would use mud, branches, leaves, animal skins, and man-made pigments to conceal themselves from larger predators and hostile tribes. Over time, the use of camouflage has evolved with the development of military uniforms and the changing environments in which soldiers fight. From colorful medieval and Napoleonic uniforms, to the standardized use of darker colors such as khaki, gray, and olive green during World War I and II, camouflage has consistently aimed to reduce the visibility of soldiers. With the introduction of armored vehicles, aircraft, and powerful ships, optimal camouflage has played a key role in selecting the color of these vehicles. Camouflage patterns have always been heavily influenced by the environment in which an army is deployed, be it the desert, forest, jungle, or frozen tundra. The goal is for soldiers and vehicles to blend in with their surroundings as much as possible. However, the introduction of infrared, or IR sensors, has changed the game. Advanced systems can easily identify soldiers hidden in bushes and vehicles from miles away, making it more challenging for traditional camouflage to be effective. Despite this challenge, camouflage remains an essential aspect of warfare and will continue to evolve alongside advancements in technology. Adaptive Camouflage Adaptive camouflage has its roots in the mid-1970s when thermal sensors using the mid- and long-range infrared spectrum were first used to analyze objects hidden behind thick clouds of smoke, fog, or darkness. During the Vietnam War, experiments were conducted with site prototypes that could penetrate behind the jungle canopy and help soldiers and special operators detect hidden North Vietnamese and Viet Cong enemies. Initially, snipers were given this new technology to locate targets and terminate them effectively. Later, these IR sensors made their way onto unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, drones, and other weapon systems, prompting militaries worldwide to experiment with special materials and dyes in uniforms to shield soldiers from exposing themselves to IR sensors. While passive IR camouflage has yielded average results since it was first introduced, the Swedish Army began experimenting with active temperature modulation in the late 1990s to hide infrared signals. However, the equipment used was expensive and fragile, limiting its operational use for combat scenarios. The Swedish Defense Material Organization initiated the Steerable and Controllable IR Signature Program in 2005 to produce a successful adaptive camouflage that could be used by military personnel and vehicles to blend in with the environment. Unlike traditional camouflage, Adaptive camouflage generates displays that change according to the scenery and lighting conditions. 
An adaptive camouflage system is made up of flexible electronic flat panel display units placed on the surface of an object to cloak it. Each display panel contains an active pixel sensor, APS, that looks outward through a small aperture occupying a fraction of the panel's area. A central controller connected to an external light meter automatically adjusts the brightness of the panels to coincide with the ambient light, and the underside of the cloaked object is illuminated artificially so that the upper display can show the ground as if it were ambient light. The Swedish Steerable and Controllable IR Signature Program was instrumental in funding BAE's adaptive camouflage system. With that said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please press the bell icon so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.